One of the core missions of this office and our federal law enforcement partners is to keep communities safe from an array of potential threats. That overarching goal, protecting public safety and rooting out public corruption, is what lies at the heart of a 74-count indictment that is unsealed this morning in federal court. A grand jury has charged at four current and former Massachusetts State Troopers and two civilians. They have been indicted for their role in an alleged scheme to falsify the results of commercial driver's licenses, or CDLs. These are the types of licenses that people need out there who are driving trucks and large vehicles need to secure in order to operate those vehicles safely. The indictment alleges these defendants gave passing scores to people who did not pass the test to obtain a CDL. In return for passing unqualified applicants, one of the defendants, Sergeant Gary Cedarquist, is alleged to have received personal benefits of a variety, a variety of nature. A new driveway valued at over $10,000, a $2,000 snowblower, and other such items. The grand jury indictment against these six men includes charges of extortion, honest services mail fraud, conspiracy, false statements, and falsification of records. In short, as alleged in this indictment, the CDLs were for sale and troopers were bribed with free goods to pass applicants no matter how they performed on the test. Four of these defendants were arrested this morning, including two members of the Massachusetts State Police, Sergeant Gary Cedarquist and Trooper Joel Rogers. Two civilians were also arrested this morning, Scott Camara and Eric Matheson. Two retired Massachusetts, Massachusetts State Troopers were arrested in Florida yesterday, Calvin Butner and Perry Menendez.